So hello everyone, today I will show you how you can use ray tracing shadows in Unreal Engine 5. So if you know that Unreal Engine 5.4 removed ray tracing shadow, before 5.4, like in 5.1, 2 and 3, we, we just add a post process volume and in the post process volume, we just write reflections and in the reflection settings, you will get an option called stand alone ray tracing. But now you can see there is no ray tracing option. It means your reflections will only use lumen or screen space reflections if you really need soft shadows then you have to use ray tracing or path tracing the lumen is also good but it is not that much ideal for so many cases i will show you how you can enable the ray tracing in 5.4 so the first thing that you can do is you have to just select your directional light so in this case i'm using a rack light it doesn't matter you can use anything like directional light or anything and then you have to just write ray trace so in this one you will see cast ray trace shadow so this one is use projects default settings what you have to do you have to just go and enable this thing and you will notice something that it just changed the shadows if i disable this thing you see see in the colors okay and if you enable this thing you are getting properly ray trace shadows with this one and now you will notice one thing that you are you are getting this type of weird issues shadow issues like jagginess in the shadows so to fix this what you have to do you will get a sample per pixel option you have to make this thing 12 and your shadow problems are gone so like this you can use ray trace shadows in 5.4 so it doesn't matter uh, what type of light you are using you can use it with any light so if i show you suppose if i go to the directional light i will drag drop this thing you have to just go to the ray trace option and in the advanced tab you will get same thing you have to just enable the this things and the ray tracing think you have to just increase the sample count so that you will not get that type of jaggy shadow effect so you can use ray trace in any light and yeah that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching